high value woman knows what she wants, she goes for what she wants, and she gets what she wants. And you can. Whether you believe you can do it is actually the issue. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be exploring how to become a high value woman and what the key pillars are from self-worth to boundaries, authenticity. As a result, you will become your highest value self. What it means to be a high value woman. The main misconception here is that people believe it's about a high value in terms of net worth, but it's not. It's actually something much simpler than that. And it's something that we can all implement into our lives to be the highest valued version of ourselves. If you look at the term high value woman, there's a key in the main messaging, the value. The value is the most important part. Value doesn't equate to numbers in the bank or paycheck. It means the value around the woman, her standards, what she allows and doesn't allow, how her boundaries fit into her life. A high value woman starts with her value system and builds from that outwards. Her appearance, net worth, relationships, confidence, her stature, that all does play a part, but it stems from her values, her core beliefs. What truly sets a high value woman apart is her internal strength, her compass, authenticity, emotional intelligence, and the way that she acts around other people. From self-care to career growth to internal work, we have to work on ourselves to become the highest valued version of ourselves. Working on yourself also comes down to manners, politeness, how kind you are, empathy, confidence, strength, the ability to listen to people. If you don't have these things, you will never be high value. People won't necessarily remember your name, who you are or what you do, but they will remember how you made them feel. You could be absolutely drop dead gorgeous on the outside. You could look like a supermodel. However, if you're a nasty person on the inside and you show that ugliness, people will believe it. People will recognize that and you will never be high value. Don't be afraid to walk by yourself. Don't be afraid to go on solo dates. Solo dating is the most empowering thing. Why? Because you don't have to ask anyone and fear rejection. You can take care of all of your life admin. You can go to all of the places that you wanna go, watch the films that you wanna watch, eat the food that you wanna eat, order your pumpkin spice latte whilst working on yourself from the coffee shop, write in your goals, write in your dreams, working on an action plan and becoming the best version of you. The higher the vibrations, the higher the value. You could be in a state of lack right now and you're vibrating at such a low frequency. Because you're vibrating at a low frequency, you're not taking action, you're not taking care of yourself, you're not eating correctly, you're not working out, you're not connecting with people. The more that you have that lack in your life, the more you're attracting into your life. You'll perpetuate this existence. The best way to work on yourself is to never beg for a seat at the table. Make your own table. Build what suits you the most. You prefer a different design. You prefer a different aesthetic, a different vibe. You don't want to just go down there and go and sit at a cheap table for the sake of there being a spare seat. You can't sit with us. I don't want to sit with you. Be comfortable with being alone in public because the more you feel comfortable in your own skin, the more that you attract people towards you. Take up space and take your time because you deserve to be there as much as anyone else. Turn your loneliness into solitude. Find your strength from yourself. You're never gonna find it in somebody else. Even if you're in a relationship, you've been together a long time, you're never gonna be full and whole when your better half is doing all the hard work. Be prepared to fail. The more that you fail, the more that you can course correct. Once you've course corrected, you become more valuable. You've learned your lesson. You've built from your mistakes. We are human, we make mistakes. It's natural, it's actually quite good for us. We fall down, we get up, we keep going. The fact that we keep going and persisting builds resilience. A high value woman knows what she wants, she goes for what she wants and she gets what she wants. Why? Because she can and you can. Whether you believe you can do it, is actually the issue. Start leaning into the things that you want to do. Start to do those things today. Stop thinking about it. Your belief system is telling you, I don't think I'm quite ready for this. I need to do a bit more research. I need to brainstorm this. I need to throw all my ideas on paper. And you're talking too much. Action speaks louder than words. A high value woman, do you think she sits there and talks about it? No, she doesn't. 
A high value woman wakes up early before everyone else. She drinks a nice lemon and ginger water, goes to the gym, works out on herself, by herself, listens to a podcast, listens to some good music, writes her to-do list for the entire day, plans her day in advance, and starts to go to work on herself, starts to tick things off the to-do list, starts to do the thing. And the reason why she can do that is because she's built her own self-trust. If you notice that you're looking for other people's validation and approval, you need to let that go. Keep a distance. We live in such a fast-paced world. We live on our phones majority of the time. We're never really connected with who we are, what we really want. It's really important for the high-value woman to have strong reliable connections because she's reliable for herself she also needs that around her as well and if you start to embody the essence of becoming your highest value version of yourself it will set you apart from everyone else it will elevate you to your highest potential and that's one of the most important things that we can do in our life is to live to our fullest potential not lay on our deathbed regretting the fact that we didn't try at something or being bitter and disappointed with ourselves we need to be on that deathbed going wow wow how did i manage to fulfill life that much this is the secret to living a full life if you carry on as you are you're gonna wake up disappointed one day and wish you'd have started sooner. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. You may be feeling in a rut right now. If you are, I made a video on this. How to get out of a rut quickly. Go and watch it. Start to do hobbies. Sign up to a gym. Go to workout classes before work. Start to build on yourself in silence. Don't tell anyone. Not even your family. As soon as you start to get stronger and stronger, you're becoming more resilient. By following the steps in this video, you can not only positively impact your life and become the highest value version of you, but you also impact everyone around you. Even if they don't know who you are, you can become the best version of you. The only question I will ask now is will you take the next step? I really hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on the next one. You've got this, I believe in you. Until next time, stay fabulous.